Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Spider-Man Miles Morales. So we're going to start to uh, optimize Windows. After that, we're going to go inside of the game. Honestly, the game is well optimized and you're getting some the latest upscaling uh, release like the FSR 2.1 and the DLSS with frame generation. So let's start this. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a, a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's gonna show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is, sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's gonna make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32, just divided by two. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2%, 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, for the monitor, make sure that you're using the uh, good monitor, your main monitor. Window mode, super important to use full screen. Don't use borderless. It's causing uh, stuttering in this game. For display resolution, I really recommend to play native. So depending on your monitor, if you have a 2K, 4K, 1080p monitor, make sure that you're using the proper one. Don't lower your resolution over there. Uh, you will lose 
too much of your image quality so don't do that aspect ratio make sure that you're playing like auto make sure that it's compatible with your screen so if you have like an ultra wide 16 by 9 or whatever nvidia reflex low latency uh, if you have this technology i recommend to using it uh, it will reduce your input lag after that the upscaling in this game the upscaling honestly is amazing you have a lot of technology as you can see what i recommend if it's um if you have an rtx card go with dlss dlss is well implemented in this game and go with quality uh, if you have the new 4000 series, I also recommend the DLSS frame generation. Super important. One of like the few games who's, who's using it. So I really recommend to using it. Um, if you don't have an RTX card or you have a Radiant card, I recommend FSR 2.1. You have the latest version of AMD uh, technology over there. So go with something. Again, quality is fine uh i'm not a fan of right now uh of the those upscaling um method when you're using like performance or ultra performance i feel like the image quality is trash make sure that you're using quality and it's pretty good honestly you have the latest version that's very very nice so i'm gonna go back here at dlss upscale sharpness i'm going at five it's a question of preference honestly if you feel that your game is blurry just Put your upscale sharpness a little bit higher photographic texture quality and filtering uh it's really depend on the amount of vram that you have on your video card if you have 8 gig and more go with, with very high 16 anisotropic uh if you have 6 gig and more go high and 8x if you have 3 gig and more go with medium 4x and if you have less than 3 gig go with low and 2x i'm gonna go back here after that light and shadow here, it's really depend like what uh, what is your goal? It's a solo game, you know. It's not like a Call of Duty. So, do you want like the best experience? Are you playing right now in 4K and you're struggling with your FPS? So, it really depends on what you want to do. So, I'm gonna explain you which one will provide you the most of FPS. But after that, just do some testing to make sure that you're using the proper setting. So, shadow quality. This one is very important. If I compare very high to very low, you can expect. 22% boost in your FPS. So that's a lot. I recommend to go with low because I didn't see a big difference between very low and low. And uh, you're getting a little bit more quality in your shadow. Ambient occlusion, I recommend off if you're struggling with your FPS, but the game will look flat. So it really depends. Can you play with it or not? If not, just go with AO. You will lose 3% in your FPS. Screen space reflection. If you have something like a 1060 or more recent, you can definitely put this one at on. If you have something older than that, I recommend to go with off. Ray tracing. For sure, I recommend to put this one at off. Uh, if right now you, you just want to maximize your image quality, uh, I recommend to go with on ray tracing and put your DLSS. You really need it because you will like like crazy. Uh, you really need like DLSS if you want to uh, run the ray trace in this game. But again, it's really depend on what is your goal. Do you want to play at 60 FPS, 144? Do you want ray tracing? Do you want upscaling method? But those uh, parameter will take a lot of resources on your computer geometry level of detail i recommend to go with medium not a huge impact if you compare low to medium so this one i recommend to go with medium you will uh, save five percent in your fps um density this one is really important traffic and crowd it's tanking a lot your fps if you're playing on a very old computer or with a bad gpu go with very low or i recommend just go with low it's not that bad you're moving fast in the city and you don't really see it so that's why i recommend to go with low with them you can expect a nice 14 person boost in your fps the air quality i recommend to go with medium not a huge difference between very low low and medium honestly uh in your fps so that's why i, I recommend medium you will have a nice two percent boost in your fps weather particle quality i recommend to go with low uh if you're getting some random drop when you see weather it's probably because of this setting so just lower it a little bit if you don't have any issue and everything is working fine you can definitely go at medium also for the camera effect, I recommend to disable depth of field. Bloom and lens flare, it really depends. Do you want like pure visibility or you want some cool effect because you're playing in a solo game? Uh, if you want that, I recommend to activate bloom, lens flare and chromatic aberration. You will lose like 3%. It's not that bad. But if you just want pure visibility, put everything at off. Make sure also your motion blur strength is at 0. By default, I think it's 10. It's 
too much for a game like that so just removing it fill of view uh just go with default at zero really important here if you increase your fill of view you will lose fps you will see more stuff in front of you you need to render more so make sure that this one is at zero firm grain i recommend to go with zero for visibility and the last one is sharpness honestly sharpness start at five it's question of preference if you feel that your game is blurry just increase it if you feel that it's too sharp just lower it so this is pretty much it guys for the uh, spider-man mild morales guide if you have any questions just come in in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram uh, uh, i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace